Okay, I'm sorry. I. Oh, okay, that's the Tremere on Saturday night. Never mind me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is Sunday night. It's Zach. All right, Zach and Adriana, you have been... Um, you were called by one of your clanmates. Um, she's a little bit older than you in terms of being a kindred. Uh, her name is uh, Sabine, and Sabine has um, called you to a uh, a uh, small, out of the way, um, Lebanese restaurant. Ooh. Uh, you know, you know, she was in her life. She had been a restaurant reviewer, and she influences uh, the reputations of restaurants even from beyond the grave. <laughs> and you know that, that she's she's kind of weird, but she she constantly smokes cigarettes. She's just never without one. Um, yeah. But she's kind of twitchy and weird. And the other weird thing you know is somehow she managed to erase all electronic traces of her existence. <laughs> All right, so you all you all uh, have left your compatriots behind at the Night Owl Diner, and you make your way to this little restaurant. And Sabine is standing out beside the kitchen, waving to you frantically. Um, so I'll walk up to her and, and you know be like, "Hey, Sabine, uh, you called. What's what's going on?" I got something. I got something that can get us ahead. We can get ahead in the clan. We can do this. The three of us. We're all new. We're all new, right? We can get ahead. So down there. Get ahead. What do you mean? In other words, climb the ladder. Climb the ladder. Because I got info. I got info. And you guys, you guys are like sciencey investigative types, aren't you? Yeah. All right. All right. You gotta find this guy, Juan Kali. He's a he's a ventru, uh, slimy looking fucker. Um, you, you gotta find him. But if you can find him, I know I know he's up to something because I saw him do. I saw him talking to a priest, a priest over at the Church of the Immaculate Conception. Okay. But how do we know that you're not... The priest had a pin from the Society of Leopold. Interesting. But how do we know that you're not tricking us right now? Good eye. Good eye. Always clever. Always clever. That's good. That's good. Uh, yeah, so okay. that's why I called you. You're careful. You're careful. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do, is is you guys just investigate you, you just you just observe and report and then we call the sheriff and then you just you just say i i delivered the tip okay so that's the information that you have for us is to check out this one yeah so I, check I this it. guy out and just watch and see what he does yeah yeah um he's got a haven uh it, 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 it's it's over in Larchmont. Yeah. But if something goes wrong and we get caught, are you just going to pretend that you've never known? That we've never met? Nah. See, what I'm going to have you doing is over in Larchmont, uh, there's, there's, there's a new place opened up. Um, it's a new Russian restaurant. And, and he... His haven, the place he rents, I don't know if he sleeps there, is upstairs from it. So I can say you all were going over there looking at the restaurant for me. Right. It, it's it's what they what they called uh, uh what what was it what was it Bill Clinton said uh, uh plausible deniability that's it. <laughs> <laughs> So let me ask you this, especially with it, you know, being a Russian restaurant and that's kind of your thing, you know, it wouldn't it make more sense for you to go because that that's more of your scene rather than ours? 
The damn Ruskies know my face. They know who I am, and the old woman suspects I'm some kind of vampire. So it's no good. I go over there to masquerade breach. You go over there, nobody will know. But we're not able to eat food either. Well, what you do is you just you, you just look around. You just you just look around. Look for this Juan Cali guy. Seriously, we are onto something big here. Come with me. Well, what do you think, Zach? I know we have this other, you know, thing that we've been working on, and you know, do you think this is a good idea to just take a quick trip over there? The only way to get in without people thinking, "Oh, they're not eating food," is to disguise ourselves as health inspectors. See, that's smart. That's the kind of shit that that, that I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, hey, I need to mute for just one second. I got a phone call coming in. Okay. So she's she's looking back and forth between Adriana and and Zach. Just like, just imagine a chipmunk on espresso. <laughs> She stubs out what's left of her cigarette, lights another one, and just like inhales and burns it down halfway. <laughs> Come on, Zach. We can do this. Why do you want to get on top of the ladder? Why do we want to go up the ladder? So we can get access to better shit. I heard, I heard through the grapevine, she points to Adriana, that this one is looking for a cure for vampirism. She makes a cure for vampirism. I get to eat again. <laughs> Sorry, this is me laughing out to character. She has a point. She is a food critic. That would kind of suck <laughs> being turned into a vampire. <laughs> She looked at it artistically. Do what? She could look at food artistically. Oh, the colors of the peas and the carrots <laughs> laying next. Such a beautiful combination. <laughs> at that point, she looks at you and goes, You sound like a fucking Toreador. Stop it. I want to eat actual fucking food. <laughs> Don't mean to sound like a Toreador. I can't even leave the bloody city and go back home. Right, you want to go back home. She finds a cure, we, you go back home, I get to eat. It'll be brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you two well, are the we... only people close to my age in that damn chantry. Everybody else is like a million years old and like talks like D&D geeks that got embraced and, and think their spells are real, okay? <laughs> you guys are scientists I can respect that I, I understand that very well I'm sort of curious anyway the other the good news is Larchmon isn't even a isn't even off limits it's it's not Juan's territory it's just just another part of the rack A toast rack, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, she know. leads you all into um, a, a small back office of this restaurant. And she has, like, pictures of Juan uh, connected with, with documents and pictures with red string on the walls. <laughs> And she's like, you see that woman? See that woman? She's some kind of Russian. I know that. I heard her speak in Russian. Uh, Vartova's her last name. She's human. So if he's breaking the masquerade, we got him. So he's got a little Russian jelly on the side, you know? Hmm. Keep going through the flow chart. 
Um, it seems to be. It seems to all center around Juan Cali and the um, uh, something about this uh, Vartova woman, the restaurant, the apartment, and uh, the Church of the Immaculate Conception. Excuse me. Sorry. <clears throat> Hmm. Interesting. Right. And what about these files? I'm guessing these are information on people and places. Oh, where did I get the info? I hired a PI for that one. <laughs> Called in a favor with a NOS for that one. And uh, I, man I managed to hack some, hack some stuff, but I, I can't make heads or tails of it. It's deeply encrypted. I need somebody with better, uh, better skills than I got. Ooh. Ooh, okay, sorry about that. I'm back. That was my husband calling me. <laughs> no worries. Uh, you all are staring at a crazy-looking flowchart on the wall of a small office that Sabine has taken you into. Okay. And and did I hear her say that she knew what I was up to with trying to find a cure? Yes. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I was trying to half listen to, to both. <laughs> oh, no worries. That'd be so difficult. It was, yeah. Um, you don't know how often I do that, though. <laughs> for how um, you to, uh, okay, so she took us to an office and we're looking at a, a flowchart uh, from the Russian woman connected to Juan and that she was a human. Yes, and okay. the priest he was talking to had a Society of Leopold pen. Okay. Which is uh, roll hacking. a cult. Oh, go ahead, Ooh. Josh. I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, for compute for hacking into computers, does that come under computer or technology? Yeah. It would be computer. Ooh. Intelligence plus computer. Intelligence. Plus. Uh, well, Zach is going to try and hack into the computer. Okay. Now, how do I do intelligence plus oh. computer? Uh, down at the bottom, there are the dice pools. And you simply, in one ah, field, yes. put intelligence, the other computer. That's right. Intelligence plus computer. And while you're doing that, um, where how what was the uh, the computer that we're looking at? Oh, that computer is current. The the one you were looking at before uh, is currently in the possession of Carolyn. Yeah. Uh, okay. And they are they are fleeing from an exploding diner, right? <laughs> yeah. So what is? Okay, wait a minute. So who's? So Zach, you're trying to hack the. Wait, who's doing the computer? <laughs> um, basically, Sabine has some emails and stuff. Okay. Uh, that are encrypted, and Zach is oh, trying okay. to break. Encryption. Okay, gotcha. Okay, I'm good. Okay. So, uh, yeah, there's no pool mod, I'm guessing. Um, no, no. And difficulty. Difficulty will be seven. Seven. Ooh. Okay, seven. Right here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh. You have such no, high success. intelligence, too. <laughs> right success. <laughs> How many? Zero successes. Zero. Okay. Um. Gosh. Do you want me to give Heck. it a try? <laughs> Breaking encryption's hard. You can try. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Could be like one one wall one firewall is down. <laughs> there there's no firewall. They're on my server. Uh, Sabine uh, Sabine is like not impressed with your hacking ability. <laughs> oh no no that, sorry sorry that I was speaking out of character there. Oh sorry. Uh, and what was the difficulty you said? Seven. Seven. Okay. All right. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> 
<laughs> I hope we you are guys not are better than forensic scientists. We are other, you know, scientists. <laughs> I hope you guys are way better at investigating than <laughs> than you are at hacking. <laughs> That was terrible. Uh, yeah, that's awful. <laughs> no mercy, no mercy. Well, I, I, I don't know if we can get into these. Um, uh, where did, where did you say these emails came from? Where'd you get them? Uh, yeah, I hacked them off of a server at the, uh, the, but the server was cleaned after I, I got this um, off of a server at the Church of the Immaculate Conception. Okay. <sighs> All right. We can always go and investigate this Russian restaurant. Is there enough R's in that? Ins- as some kind of inspectors. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do have, you know, my, my CDC credentials. <laughs> that is true. That would work. That so, would work. Um, However, um, dawn is approaching and you all will need to sleep. Yes. Before well, the next day. Jeez, yeah. they had All such right. a short night compared to us. Well, no, y'all's night was hideously long. <laughs> Basically, you all you all got all that stuff, escaped to the diner, black vehicles show up, shootout ensues. Y'all were racing the sun to get someplace safe before you know, you you got to you got to hear a rendition of Here Comes the Sun, Little Darling. So. <laughs> Does um, Sabina have places for us to rest? Yes, she does. Um, her She offers you a temporary haven in the basement of the Lebanese restaurant. Okay. Then the only option is to accept it before dawn breaks. Okay. All right, so now we cut to the next night. Um, as I recall, Creed, you and um, Kristoff had already marked off your blood. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Weirdness was happening. You had grabbed Kristoff by the arm and dragged him out <laughs> of his place. Basically. <laughs> what do you do now? Well, I need to feed, so. Okay. Kristoff was brushing himself off. That was really unnecessary. <laughs> he used to say to roll his eyes and keep going. <laughs> he did keep following him, though. Yeah. There are three plumbing vans on the block, you notice, Creed. I'm sorry? There are three plumbing vans parked on this block. Hmm. So, hmm. all right. So Creed, you need to feed. Um, how do you want to? Uh, how do you want to procure food? Do you want to seduce someone or hunt, stalk, and hunt them? I would. Um, I want to like convince them that they could get. Basically, there's like a job that I need them to do or something. Basically, what Zach did. But more, like, seems more like under the um, threat kind of thing, I guess. That makes sense. More criminal. Okay. Yeah, more criminal. Like, not criminal, like, either. It's more of just a job that's, like, you don't get paid. It's more like you don't get paid um, minimum wage, but you still get a good junk of money. So it's, like, no contract or anything, in a way. Oh, so, like, off, okay, so, so... off book sort of thing. Yeah, exactly. No one You're seems too criminal towards people. Day labor, okay. Yep. At night, which is pretty fun. <laughs> okay, I, so and I'm quite like I'm thinking of Kristoff here. What do you need to feed? Well, I was thinking yes, just for a top off because I can only get I think three more points mm-hmm. before being full. So while Creed's doing that, why not? Let's watch me hideously no, fail thinking, again. <laughs> no, I was thinking that I'll help you out. 
Oh, neat. Good, because he, he needs it, apparently. <laughs> exactly. All right, Creed. Like, so I know job. I have to help you. I need to find basically two people. All right, Creed, since you're jonesing, um, roll wits plus streetwise. Okay. Oh, he's good at that. Um, full mod, I presume zero. Yeah. Okay. And the difficulty Difficult is six. I mean, okay. we live five. in America. It's a gig economy. I have five. <laughs> Multiple successes. <laughs> five successes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So here's what you do, Creed. Okay. Um, yeah, you call an Uber. <laughs> okay. You call the Uber, and um, you start smooth talking him, and you know, just saying, you know, me and my friend, we want to do some weird shit. You down? <laughs> <laughs> and with that many successes, he says, Hell yes, $500, I'm yours. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Kristoff was just like giving this um bewildered stare at Creed the whole time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't get some strange. I'm sorry, I didn't hear most of that because of the fact that I cut out. I'm sorry. Okay. Basically what you've done is with that many successes, you've called the Uber guy, he's like five hundred bucks and I will I will definitely help you and your buddy out. Okay. All right. What I need you to do, though, is I need you to roll your, um, golly, conscience plus self-control, or willpower. Make a willpower roll. Willpower? There's a little okay. button next to willpower, I believe. Oh, yeah. If go to six. Yeah, um actually what's your humanity? Um one, two, three, four, five. Okay, actually it's only five dice, so we'll actually I'll roll that because it'll just be a little easier. Okay. So five D ten and we'll see what you get. Okay. <laughs> you can take if you want to share with Kristoff, you can take two points and then give Kristoff two. Ooh, neat. And that will just knock the guy out. Yeah, that works. Any more than that, and he's in the hospital. Yeah, okay. Or that nine. Works. Plus, I, can't, I technically get three because of the uh, digestion merit. Yes, you do. Yay, it's full. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. You're very welcome. All right. Thank you. So you leave you leave the poor Uber bastard laid out <laughs> in his car. I at least give him five bucks for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have five hundred, so I give him five. Roll your humanity. Or I'll roll it. Don't worry. I need to roll your humanity for that. <laughs> Okay, Creed, you, you actually lose one humanity for that. What? Um, okay. You don't manage to justify being that much of a dick. <laughs> putting a guy out by taking his blood and then only dropping five bucks on him. <laughs> after promising... I didn't have the 500. Something. Oh, I know you didn't. I'm just saying. I didn't have that. <laughs> no one agreed to 500. <laughs> I mean, at least you didn't say, I left him five bucks and a Chili's coupon. <laughs> <laughs> Dude would never have that. He's hey, like, Dude, was, was it culture the free chips that. and salsa? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can, he can restore his lost juices by drinking the salsa. Oh, yeah. Dude, their salsa is banging at Chili's, man. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I was that Uber driver, not so mad. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, now that we've made one one Uber driver a quart low, <laughs> Caroline, you um, 
you have received a very interesting email. Um, the laptop stuff has been decoded um, by your by your IT uh, folks, and um, you've discovered the location of the home clinic for those vans. Ooh. Yes. <clears throat> and where is the home location of said vans? Um, it is in a place called um, Stone Mountain, Georgia. Just, I know Stone just that, it's a suburb. Yeah. Of um, Atlanta. <laughs> and what was like? So, wh- what kind of vans were they again? They were fake health department vans that were injecting okay. people with weird okay. illnesses. Okay, it was the health department vans. Okay. Um, I'm going to send... Now, have, have I... I haven't spoken with Creed or Kristoff yet, have I? No. So I don't know that he has his phone yet, do, do I? Right. You do not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, do have, you do have the Tremere's phone numbers, though. So I'm going to create a group text with everybody but Kristoff. Okay. <laughs> oh. and that's not, it's not to be mean. <laughs> I mean, I know it's not to be mean, but Kristoff might take it personally. <laughs> now, now, see, she's going to go buy you a phone because she smashed your phone at the restaurant. So. <laughs> then he'll just have two phones. <laughs> so your phone that magically became a phone again is probably going to get smashed by her (laughs) actually it's probably going to get shot so Um, is either by her or by me (laughs) so um i'm going to send a message to everybody but Kristoff and say hey i've had some interesting developments and was wondering if you guys wanted to meet up in Chit chat. Does Creed even have a phone? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Phone. Yeah. Did Creed mention getting oh, that... getting a text or email or whichever it was? It's a text. It's a, it's a group text to make it easier for everybody to communicate. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. Whatever you're, you know. Sorry, this why, do I pick, why do I picture Creed's being like that annoying La Cucaracha horn? <laughs> <laughs> or like uh, somebody getting punched in the stomach. So it's like, <laughs> 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 the, the reason I did that was the, my image of Creed. He like taps his chest and burps and says, damn, I hate when I eat Mexican. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Now, because will Zach and Adriana be getting this text before they sleep? Or is no, it's the... after. You've awakened the next night, so mark off a Vitae or a Blood Point. <clears throat> I'm hungry. You go somewhere? Come on. Oh, my phone actually vibrates as well. Okay, it's working now. Sorry about that. Oh yeah. No, oh, can here. you hear me now, too? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. <clears throat> God, um, I'm sorry, but um, uh. Discord's weird because I just now got um, Skylar's uh, statement. I'm here now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, go on, Josh. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah. Um. So, so we've got the text. Text is there. Zach is replying. Yeah, that's fine. Oh yeah, I was saying something. <laughs> um, so Creed takes out his phone to look at it and shows Kristoff. 
Kristoff Seeing... looks at it and his own phone is like, I didn't get a message. <laughs> sad Kristoff is sad. Kane's creed could put in the chat Kristoff uh, Chris equals and then sad face. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I was actually going to say, I was going to say that I put Kristoff into the chat. <laughs> and there's put, I'm with Kristoff or, um, we're cool with, or we're cool with me it up. Okay, how about, let's say, insert random bar, whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. How about the Russian bar? <laughs> <laughs> do you all do you recommend it, um, <laughs> Mr. Zachary? Do you uh, or oh. Doctor Zachary? Do you recommend it? What bar do you? He's not a doctor yet. Uh, a a, a Russian restaurant in Larchmont. <laughs> uh, Zach, Zach turns to Adrian and asks, "Shall we recommend the Russian Russian bar? It would kill two birds with one stone." Well, my only question with that is, it we can't go in under cover like we were going to if we had them <laughs> meeting us there. That is true. Very well. We will go to a separate place. <sighs> yeah, I, I mean, cannot. I I said let's let's go see what they found out, and then you and I can pop over there and yes. see what we can find out about Juan. That is correct. Okay, so, so are you are all going to. Uh, we are going to an head. insert bar here. Okay. Insert bar. Well, well, so here, so here's what I'm thinking about too. Now it just dawned on me. I mean, if there's you know a group of us, it's more likely for us you know coming in a meeting somewhere rather than just two strange people coming in the middle of the night. Yeah. So, yeah. do you think we should? Yeah, I, you know what? I think that may be a better. A better. So, so you think the Russian the Russian place? Yeah. What do you think? I I was thinking it would be a pretty good idea anyway. Yeah. Let let's let's tell them he is there. All right. Sabina, we now have to get into the Russian bar without looking shifty. See, you guys are smart. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You guys would do it. Yeah. It's great. What it? Would we ask Sabina to go along with us? Well, she already said she can't because they know her. Oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah, walking yeah. masquerade breach here. Besides, um, Rinaldo's going to come downstairs. He's just had like a whole pot of espresso and I get to feed. So mama's got to top off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Sabine, I tell you what, we'll, uh, you know, we'll let you know what we find out. Um, don't get too buzzed from the caffeine. <laughs> never, never. Paranoia is a state of total awareness. <laughs> <laughs> Blinking rapidly with a, with with a confused expression, and then he's just leaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Leah, let's get out of here, Zach. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so I guess we uh, we get in the car and and head over to um, uh, Mark. Yeah. Imagine Creed and Kristoff took an Uber to a random location that was nowhere near where they were asked to go. And you mean you mean yeah. an Uber you didn't kill, destroyer <laughs> smash? <Yeah. laughs> oh, unless you can say Uber, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> they don't have high enough dominate for that yet. <laughs> no, I mean we already took the Uber. I don't know where we were going, to be honest. That was before we got any text message. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What's up with my connection? I can hear you just fine. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. I can also. I can not hear you guys. Yeah. And like everything just totally stopped working for a second. Bastards. 
<sighs> okay. It's the government. It has to. The government. <laughs> They've latched yeah. onto you. Yeah, they're on to me. They know what I'm doing. They're like it's yeah. outlaw to play this game now. <laughs> because. Come on, really? <laughs> I mean, our government's not that efficient, guys. <laughs> I almost joined the FBI, I should know. He was probably right, on, so on, 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 on top of Trump's list. He's, he's a black transitioning male. Trump, Dude, everything I'm a, hates. Dude, I'm a black transitioning, uh, transition, well, post transitioning male. That is also mixed with Mexican. Really? Oh, even that worse. just makes it even worse. <laughs> that is but, a lot worse. No, but I have a lot of white in me, so there's a slight balance. <laughs> the, 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 the biggest thing, though, like most most of most of what Trump tends to be doing is throwing up, saying the most horrible things in the world. While he literally returns us to the 1890s robber barons, <laughs> you know, it's like child labor laws. Those are too restrictive. Let's get these kids out of school and back into machines where they can be crushed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways, before All we right, continue so. making fun of politics, let's get back into the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we so we can have more strange politics. <laughs> all right. So you all meet at a Russian restaurant on Fifty Seven Barker Avenue called Nikolai's Roof. Christoph is um, sitting in the booth with them. Is like, um, not to put a downer on your choices of bar, but I can't understand a word anyone is saying in here. <laughs> Once again, Creed rolls his eyes. <laughs> oh. Service so I is think friendly. Says that we're all at the table together now. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the waiter comes over and goes, "Dosvidanya. How may I help you? Or no, Strasvidya. How may I help you? <laughs> we still um, need a moment. We're looking at the menu right now. We just got here. Of course. Take character. your time. May I get your drink orders? Out of character question. Yeah. Can I mean Sabina can drink coffee, and is this a Tokyo Ghoul type of thing where coffee is the only thing vampires can drink in this? Um, no, actually, uh, you can spend um a blood point, get blush of life, and then you can eat food or drink drink drinks, and then you have to throw them up the next scene. I already have blush of life. Same. Well, you you're still gonna have to throw them up next scene. You just don't have to well, spend yeah. the blood. <laughs> Yay. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, I think I think I'll just Yeah, I'll do it. Hey, we could do oh, oh, oh out of, oh I should I should I wonder if I could venture this in character out of the character. What? What? Well, I'll venture it out of character. If we out of character, if we if our characters eat here and then throw up, we could say that they've been, they've uh, have a cooked the food properly. Oh but my I gosh. Sure. No, let's talk about, let's talk about something Creed thought of, because that's something he would think of. <laughs> that's that's okay. brilliant. So please give him please give Creed this credit here. He needs this. <laughs> okay, well, so I'll tell you what. So so let, let's do it this way then. Um, so, you know, we tell the waiter, you no, know, we need just a few minutes to look at the menu and decide. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so here's why we wanted to come here. So, um, and this is something actually that we may need some assistance from y'all that trying to figure out, okay? Uh, Zach, do you want to tell them or, you know, because I think you were, you had a little bit more of a grasp than, than I did on, on the whole thing that we got told, so. <clears throat> Oh. Zach, Zach. Z Z that was his voice, and I should everyone in closer. There is someone here that might be going against the masquerade. What is it? Masquerade laws or whatever. Yeah, the, the broken tradition. The masquerade. Yeah. Yeah, has broken the tradition of the masquerade. 
and we have been sent here to take notes on this individual. Kristoff glances around the room as, as he was saying that. As if the mas Masquerade Breaker could be easily spotted. <laughs> no, Everyone in here is mortal to your knowledge, Kristoff. Hmm. I'm just going to say this now. Whenever uh, Kristoff does something like kind of weird or stupid, expect me <laughs> to roll his eyes. Okay, I don't like nice. you saying that. I just thought about that. <laughs> Your eyes are going to get stuck if you keep doing that. <laughs> they, will get, they will get stuck then. I can imagine Creed's eyes just being that YouTube loading symbol, just going round and round and round and round yeah. <laughs> Christoph kind of whispers to everybody else, um, everyone here is, mo is a human. Right, so yes. here's here's what we here's what we know. Um, the 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 one in question apparently um, is uh, friends with the with the owner and has a haven upstairs. Yeah, uh, he also looked up. <laughs> <laughs> and now I roll my eyes. <laughs> 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 oh, and you're just you're only just rolling your eyes, Zach's face popping. <laughs> <laughs> you see him slightly <laughs> crying. So, so here, so here's what we need to do. We need to find a way to a find out if he's here, um, and b if he's not, um, we need to find a way to get up in his haven, and poke around and see what we can find. Any, any thoughts on how we sorry. can do this? This um, is the so... out, of character thing. out of character thing, sorry. Um, I also have an out of character where... thing. Yeah, this is where Creed could mention the uh, eating and then throwing that... up and then have the... That's, that's, why, that's, why, that's why I was setting it up that way. Yeah, that's what I was oh, going to say. Alright, yeah. never mind, sorry. All right, what's yours, Scott? My out of character thing was that I I am starting to understand that I don't think you can see auras through walls in this game like you could the video game. Um, actually, no, you can't. It has to be like a being in line of sight. Higher levels of aspects can do that. Oh, okay, got it. Okay. So, in the video game, right. that was the only thing it did. Yeah. It has a lot more stuff it can do in this. So. Okay. All right. Auspex is awesome. <laughs> okay. Right, so. So Creed excitedly kind of jumps in his little in his seat a little bit, kind of waiting for someone to be like, "What is it?" You know. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna. All right. Back. This is how he is when he thinks of a scheme that's really funny. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you're all right, Creed. Kristoff's looking at him idea. expectedly. No, like, I have an idea. He just kind of has, like, a smile on his face. Like, he's, like, whispering this to him. And to everyone, just like, we have to throw up the food. Oh, yeah. And act as if they just prepared, or they didn't cook it right. Get what I'm saying here? That's me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Creed looks over at Kristoff and is like, yeah, it's me. What's the point? <laughs> um, so if why we... are we trying to make the establishment look bad again? Well, it's, yeah. it's going to be a distraction. Oh, yes. but what about the that's employees? What that, that's what I think. That's what I think Creed is is trying to to get after. Oh. And in that aspect, you, Adriana, could show your CDC card and immediately inspect the place. Yes, that's that's kind of what I was. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking once Creed was talking about that. That, that I think that's a great idea. Well um, well but keep in mind that Creed's also still bouncing there, all happy that he's doing <laughs> something funny. <laughs> Zach's going to put his hand on top of Creed's head. <laughs> <laughs> I was picturing him across the table from us. Me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. Um, reaching over. I'm reaching over and putting my hand on his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Caroline. 
Um, do you think that once we kind of have the distraction put in place, because uh, I'm assuming Creed, I'm assuming you're going to be the one to take one for the team. And I thought that would be true, but it's more believable. Okay. Kristoff, you up for it? I would really rather not. <laughs> Creed, looks at, uh, Creed looks over at Kristoff and is like, we got to do this. You and me. No, no, Creed should be like, weak. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's just like, we got to do this. Are you chicken? But it's such an <laughs> it's such an insult to the cook. It's important, though. We have to do this. Why me? Are you going to help in any way other than do this? I've helped in multiple ways, thank you very much. I can see I'm things. I'm talking about right this section. Uh, right this second. Okay, well, let, let me ask this. Who who would be the best to be able to sneak upstairs while we're doing this? Who, who wants to, to see, you know, if again, if he's there or if not, to, to find out? Out of character. Okay. Um, out of character. Who has the highest stealth on that character sheet? I've got two. Yeah, I was going to say, honestly, for you, probably shouldn't. How um, about you? Uh, is Caroline, are we are we connected yet? Are you home? I'm, yeah, I'm here. Um, okay. I'm not a stealthy individual. Okay. So she's like in high heels. You know what I mean? <laughs> true. Very yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so she's not. Um, we're stealth. I'll have to find that. Okay. Right. So, what, so what about you, Zach? What do you have? Uh, two. Two. Okay, that's what I have. Um, I have two as well, so just. So nearly just all of us have two. Distraction. Yes, I'll be the distraction. Okay, so so I lean close. So I lean in close and say, "Okay, here's here's what I'm thinking." Um, okay, Creed, you and you and Kristoff, you'll start with the the main distraction. But why? Um, because because you're going to be fabulous at it, and I know that this 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 is what we need. We need you to be at your best with this. Oh, Caroline. Okay. Uh, or, I'm sorry, uh, Adriana. Roll yes. um, manipulation plus persuasion. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hang on, uh, manipulation. Yeah, uh, with Kristoff as agreeable as he is, the difficulty is five. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. You said particularly uh, if you tell him how fabulous he is. Yeah, you know. Uh, you said plus persuasion. Yeah, where's yes. persuasion? I don't see. What is it? Um, subterfuge, perhaps. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah, I got subterfuge. Yeah. So okay. use mani manipulation and subterfuge. Yes. Okay. Excuse me. Sorry. And what was the difficulty? Five. Five. Yeah. Okay. All right, fingers crossed. <laughs> now, Two first off, if you want to adamantly avoid this, you can spend a willpower. But, you know. Well, she complimented his performance. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he, you know, he, he is a Toreador, after all. You know. uh, and you're, he does have two in to, performance. <laughs> you're going to act your heart out with this one. <laughs> Shot the rate. Shot the rate. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Spock, I believe I am now throwing up. Blah. 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 <laughs> Blah. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hear that for the rest of the night in you know, Alan Shatner's voice with that. You know, <laughs> there, I'm, I'm just watching Star Trek last night on TV. So. Uh, um. Actually, the anyway, best so... Shatner movie is um, White Apache. It's just as horrific as it sounds. I think I've seen that one. <laughs> I'll have to keep that in uh, mind. That's pretty good to me. White Apaches? I like it. <laughs> no, he, he plays himself and his evil twin brother. Oh, oh my god. god. No, I don't, I don't think I've seen that one. I was thinking of it. It's one. almost as good as The Succubus, which Shatner is almost tolerable in Esperanto. <laughs> The whole mm. movie is in Esperanto, and you're just like, uh, oh, why? Wow. Anyway, go on. <laughs> All right, so um, Zach's going to say, before um, we put this plan into place. Yeah. I mean, yeah. All right. So, so yeah, we, we um, need to find out the other thing. So what I was going to say is what we can do 
Um, so Creed and Zach, or Creed and Kristoff, you'll you'll be the distraction whenever it's time. Um, Caroline, um, I here's what I here's what I think that you and I can do during the next time, because I'll pull out my my CDC and demand to uh, to see the kitchen. Okay. Can you take care of the of the the manager or the owner or whoever comes over? Because I'm pretty sure they're going to be uh, involved in it. Can you you know whatever you need to do to distract them, you know, speak with them and you know and work through that. Yeah, I got okay. that. I got that. All right, and then Zach, if you'll you you know that'll leave you to get upstairs, take a look around, see what we can find. That sound okay, and I'll and I'll check the I'll check the kitchen, in the storerooms, and see what I can find out there too. Yes. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. So now that we have a, a plan in action, let's let's go through let's go through the motions like normal. You know, we'll order some dinner and and go through that, and then, um, Caroline, I know you said you had some stuff to tell us. So let's we'll we'll work through. You know, let you have us. You know, tell us that while we're preparing to execute the plan. Does that sound okay, all right well, for everybody? I do have some questions before we get all crazy planny. Um, yeah. Okay. Who is, this is in character. She's like, who is the guy that you guys were looking into? Uh, so his name was uh, Juan, Juan Cali. Uh, um, Juan maybe somebody Cali. that you know. <laughs> and I, that's okay. So like, that would be my next question. Like, do we know anything? Like you said, he's, he broke the masquerade. Do we know what clan he belongs to? He's Ventrue. Besides... Okay. Yeah, so he's Ventrue. Yeah. What I know... Okay, so now out of character, would I know that name? You know the slimy bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know that he um, he often uh, does stuff for Bart. Okay. So I will let them know. Well, I know the guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what what can you tell us of him? I know that he's done work for my cocksucker of a sire. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody like, hates when, their sire. When she, when she says that, you guys kind of see her like, like her eyes are like, you could see the beast behind them because she really, really, really hates this guy. Mm. Okay. So, like, there's that, like, is she serious when she says that, you know, it's, it's got it. <clears throat> but, uh, I know that he's, he's a dirtbag, and, I mean, if I need to, I can make a roll to get more information about him. Yeah. <clears throat> so, or even, you know, get in contact with him. So you let me know what I need to do. Uh, I look over at, at Zach, kind of, you know, lost and trying to figure out, you know, what what we should kind of do from here with that. It could always be useful. You know, I mean, I don't necessarily think that, uh, I mean, I could probably just walk up there. <laughs> you know, to be honest with you, if this is his haven, you know, are we looking for him or are we just looking to search his place? Well, we we need to get evidence that he's broken the masquerade. Mm -hmm. So that's that's kind of what we're here. So I mean, whatever we whatever we can find, you oh. know. Oh, um, so breaking the mas masquerade usually means there's witnesses, right? Yes. Human witnesses. <laughs> well, it, I was going to suggest finding them, but we're in a very large city. Yes. And um, I believe... So, the the other thing that, that we were told um, is that Juan has been seen associating with a, um, a priest at the end of the church. I'm sorry, a priest at where? 
at the um, Church of the Immaculate Conception. Hmm. And it, apparently they have ties to the uh, Society of Leopold. Carolyn, so, you've got two dots in the cult, right? Yeah, I was about to say, do I need, should I make a roll for that? You don't have to roll. You know who the hell they are. They're vampire hunters. Hmm. So good. I'm, I'm glad somebody knows what they are. <laughs> mm -hmm. So okay. So I'll just I'll be like, oh okay. So I'll be like, so he's been talking to vampire hunters. But what, what do you mean the the vampire? Is that what that what? What? Like what do you the know? Society of Leopold are known to be vampire hunters. Shit. So wait, if we do something, does that mean vampire hunters might come after us? Vampire hunters are always after us. That's I... that's the way of, of our world. I know, but individually. It's possible. You just might move higher up on the chain for a, you know, that's all that but well, that could happen any day. Oh. The priest can decide to you know, the the prince can oh. decide that he no longer likes us or has a need for us and we're done. Mm -hmm. So we go together. So, do we know? Or... So we know the church, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I almost say we need to check this church out. That's a good idea too. Yeah, um, let's see, you know, do we know what priest he's been talking to? Uh, I don't have a name, but apparently he he wears their pin, the society pin. Okay. Uh -huh. From what I've been told. Creed, what we've do you been want told to order the today. chicken heart plate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like $5 plate of chicken hearts. That's literally what I found on this Russian restaurant menu. Oh my so, god. That's <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I mean, so you spent half on the Uber. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead, Adriana. <laughs> I don't know. I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> Perhaps the information we need for this church is up the haven. What? Say that again. Perhaps the infam Perhaps the information we need of this church is upstairs in the haven. It 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 could be. Um <clears throat> I think I don't know because I mean if 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 these people are you know associated with the vampire hunters and uh, I mean I don't know if I really want to go to the church right now. Um, let's, well, yeah, let's... I mean, like, but I'm just trying to think of maybe like we get up into his apartment, search, see what we find. If not, we have other avenues to you know, put the proverbial squeeze on him. What if he's in his apartment? Yeah. Um, or, you know, that's a great, uh, great question. That's why I almost say, like, if him being of, of my clan, I almost want to try to go up there with maybe one other person. And we can just walk up there like we own the joint. Okay. We so do, do we want to hold off on the other and then wait and see what you find? Or what do you, what do you think? I think it would come this downstairs brother clear it up. What? And confront so this, um, yeah. So does Juan know the restaurant owner? Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> Would I know if he has a ghoul or not? Tell you what, roll intelligence plus a cult. What's the difficulty on that? I'm going to say six. It's your own clan, mate. Hmm. 
Ooh, two successes. Two successes. Yep, two successes. Okay. Uh, no, not that you're aware of. In fact, he's one of the few Ventru, you know, that have been around for a while that you know that doesn't have a ghoul. Okay, so I'm going to. When the waiter comes over, I'm going to ask her to bring the. I guess, is the owner there now? Should be a good question. You could ask. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to ask if the owner is there. So whenever. We'll play that out if that doesn't. If he's not there, then we all order food and you guys vomit. How's that sound? I really all don't right. like yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That sounds good to me. All right. All right. The owner comes cool. over. Um, it's it's an older Russian woman. She's like, may I help you? This is the owner? Yes. <laughs> I'm the owner. You ask okay. for owner. I am owner. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm going to be like, I'm going to straight up ask her, like, is Juan home? I don't think Juan is home. Do you mind if I go up there and check? It's free country, as you say. <laughs> <laughs> So there n no problems? Yet. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. All right, my friend would like to order some food. <laughs> and I'm going to look over to... Hmm. Who wants to come? Should we all just go? <laughs> Zach will go. Zach will I mean... go with... with uh... <clears throat> Zach will go. Like who's who's got some some good investigation? Zach. Zach. Zach does. Zach will go with you. Okay. So she will put her hand out to Zach and be like, Zachary Darling, will you join me? Of course, my dear. I shall accompany you. And then I will look to table and say if we're not back in say what, 15 minutes 10 minutes 15 15 minutes come on up mm -hmm. all right sounds good um and and i'm sorry y'all out of character i just got a, a text message um i'm gonna have to to run for the rest of the evening um hmm. i'm sorry about that so. no worries yeah no worries so, Yep. Um, so I'll try to catch up with you guys a little bit later. Um, I'll check okay. and see if you're on still whenever I get back. So. Okay. All right. So, all right. I'll catch up with you guys later. <coughs> see ya. Later. Have a good one. Thanks. Alrighty. So while Adriana has been called away, um, Carolyn and Zach are going upstairs. <laughs> Our Kristoff. And Creed eating. Let me look at a. Let me look at a thing. Gosh. Um, Wait, what are you looking at? Looking for Russian food and what kind of things we'll be able to eat <laughs> at a restaurant. Chicken hearts, apparently. <laughs> you can eat well, chicken the hearts. Five, the, the five dollar plate of chicken hearts seems like a deal. <laughs> Hang on, let me pull up the rest of the menu. I mean. There's some there's some good sounding stuff and then there's some like really sketchy sounding stuff. Um, <laughs> cabbage rolls. Cabbage rolls. Cabbage rolls are on there. Yeah. Let's just go with cabbage rolls. Okay. That seems like the safest thing. <laughs> <laughs> the safest. It seems like the safest. My so, cabbage. Creed looks over at Kristoff, kind of shrugs, and says, "Uh, okay, we'll take the cabbage rolls." Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> Our waiter sounds so disinterested. Creed cringes. No, it's the bit. owner. She's taking your your order. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Creed cringes a little bit and it's like, all right, um, that'll be it. Thank you. Good. <laughs> she like waddles off into the back. 
Um, <laughs> and you hear her screaming in Russian at people. <laughs> uh, all right, so Carolyn and Zach, you two make it upstairs. Um, there are no guards. There's nothing there, and there's the door. Do you knock or try to break in or what? Uh, I knock. Hmm? There is, there's an answer. One moment. <clears throat> and, uh, Zach, you have Auspex, right? Let me just check. I think he has one dot in, uh, in Auspex. I might have one dot in Auspex. Yeah, I have one dot in Auspex. All right. Well... You hear no heartbeats inside. The door opens, and there are five, four people standing behind one who is looking at you. Um, there's like blood all over their mouths, and there's uh, what appears to be like a uh, a Roman Catholic looking chalice in the middle of the room. And one's like, "Can I help you?" Hey, Juan, old buddy, old pal. <laughs> Caroline, why don't you both come in? I don't know your friend. Apologies, I am Zachary Hayden. <clears throat> the, uh, a rather rotund I'm... fellow with a, a pockmarked face, uh... Unfortunately, he was embraced during a bad acne breakout, so he has oh. acne for the rest of forever. Oh. It's like, y'all come on in. Seems like someone's had a lot of fun in here this evening. Caroline, roll your intelligence plus a cult right now. <laughs> I feel like I walked in on something very. Uh, what's the difficulty on it? Um, I'm gonna say seven. It's kind of a kind of an obscure thing for you to know. Three successes. Ooh. Hold on, no, I got ten. So one, two, three, four successes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So Caroline, you don't want to go in that room. Yeah. You <laughs> suddenly recognize you suddenly recognize what this what? is. They're doing a ritual you've heard of called the Valdery. Yep. And that means they're Sabbat. Yep. Okay. I will the, the... Uh, I'm gonna look at him and go. Why don't you give me a call when you're not so busy, and we'll see you around. And I'm going to grab Zachary by the arm and start to leave. Okay. In order to get out of there just fine, what you've got to do, and it's going to be a difficulty of eight, you need to <laughs> roll a wits and subterfuge roll to convince them not to swarm you two. <laughs> okay, so does my enchanting voice and friendly face help at all? <laughs> yes, it will knock the difficulty down to six. <laughs> okay, and you said manipulation and subterfuge? Oh my, yes. Okay. You had better be the bell of the ball in order to get past <laughs> these, these mooks. So you said it was initially an eight, so it goes down to a six? Yes. All right, let's pray to God. I'm going to say I have some rolls, too. <laughs> There's successes. I have three successes on that. My, okay. my computer is playing up. All right, so what happens is Juan sort of grins and goes, All right, Caroline, I'll give you a call tomorrow night. You have right. a good one. Thanks, you too. Right. And uh, I grab Zach by the arm, <laughs> and we we make our way out. Not like uh, you know, sprinting or at a fast pace, but just a normal walk we're leaving at. <laughs>
Zach, Zach, as you're walking away, you hear through the door, you hear a phone call. Um, and the phone call says, uh, two targets will be leaving Nikolai's roof. Deal with them. Ooh. Good thing we came in with a group of more than two. <laughs> True. <laughs> Right. All right. So you two are happily eating your cabbage rolls. <laughs> no, 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 no. Scoot would be cringing about this because he doesn't like cabbage. It is only seen safe. <laughs> Christoph seems to be pretending to enjoy it. They are really well made cabbage rolls. He's not able to taste like... them, though, right? Yeah, he is. Really? I oh. mean, you have aspects, damn it. <laughs> oh, cool. That's true. <laughs> He's you capable can taste of tasting. The, farm the cabbage was grown on. <laughs> <laughs> what kind? Of, where are the soils from? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, this was this was planted in Mississippi. <laughs> so would um, Zach and Caroline join them too and mention to them that they need to hurry up and throw up? That's what you know, I, was thinking, I was like. Y'all need to puke right now and puke on some other. <laughs> <laughs> so he looked Pretty up at he, does it. he looked up at them with a mouthful of food, looking very <laughs> guilty. <laughs> Greed happily gets up and starts throwing up all over the place. Oh Zach lord! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Creed, for your obnoxiousness, I need you to roll. <laughs> I need you to roll your. Uh, how do I even? Um... <laughs> oh gosh, charisma plus performance. Oh, no. really give it your all. Oh gosh, okay. Shot the right. Shot the right. Shot the right. Do what? The difficulty is four because you're projectile <laughs> vomiting on the people in the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> so I got three successes. Okay. Oh, you just hit an elderly couple <laughs> with a tray of potatoes, cabbage, <laughs> rice, and ground beef. <laughs> um, should back up and say, Your turn, Christoph. <laughs> Christoph specifically tried to aim for the floor and uh, and apologized after each time throwing up. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. Picturing, I'm picturing Mr. Creosote from uh, from Monty Python and the Meaning of Life. Just, uh. <laughs> I mean, it was very convincing, you know, up choking, but he, but he was a, he did apologize after e each heaving. <laughs> uh, so sorry. All right, waiters are scrambling to clean up. The manager is apologizing profusely. Creed also like, takes this as the opportunity to get food or get money, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> For he that, you're going to have to roll. He needs to five bucks uh, back. Uh, you didn't pay. Un you didn't pay, so it's. No, it's I'm talking about the five bucks from earlier. Oh, okay. So you're <laughs> trying to. All right. In order to do this, you'll need to roll manipulation plus subterfuge. The difficulty is four because you're screaming about lawsuits. So. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, y'all! I'm back for just a little bit. I just thought about it. I have a little time before I actually need to go. So, oh neat. Oh, you missed the best okay. bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, my husband's on his my husband's on his way home, and we were gonna run out to eat dinner, and I was expecting to be done by now. So I was like, well, I just went ahead and got dressed real quick, and and uh, I was like, well, I got time before he gets home. So I was like, well, let me come back for a minute. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, I have six successes, you, by the way. We're not gonna mention it. <laughs> you okay? Holy shit! Um, the the owner staggers out, mortified, and shoves three thousand dollars in your hand <laughs> and says, "Get out! Get out!" Kristoff <laughs> is like profusely apologizing to the manager and like everyone in the, in the room. Out. <laughs> just... The more Kristoff talks, he the ran. louder she screams, "Get out!" <laughs> he just Sorry, ran. I just saw a meme why that role was so good. 
<laughs> Both things you had me roll are above three. I know, right? <laughs> so maybe so... you had five, and then three, three, two, three. Uh, Zach picks up Kristoff. <laughs> he just picks <laughs> him up. <laughs> Yeah, All right, as as the four of you leave the restaurant, Carolyn, you notice that um, Zach uh, has a little red dot on his forehead. Grab him. Hi. <laughs> what do you do? Well, I'm going to grab Zach and pull him down, but I was going to pull, like, a fire alarm or something like that and try to get everybody out of the restaurant. Weren't we already out? Yeah. Y'all are out of the restaurant. As soon as you're in the street, Red Dot appears on Zach's forehead. Carolyn pushes Zach over, <laughs> drops firearm. People in restaurant are now screaming. The, uh... The owner is screaming something about terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> that'd get that get the, the local police involved. And a shot is fired where Zach was and hits the wall um, and begins just burning into the brick. Mm. Incendiary bullets. God. Thank you, Caroline. <laughs> Yeah. All right. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny. You all seem to end on uh, action scenes at restaurants. I have no <laughs> idea why this is. Yeah. It can be turned into film. It, it 